see where we are now. Right, we have got two and a half thousand unfilled jobs. Now that's kind of too many. Um, so we need to get some more jobs in here. Now, I don't want to zone a whole load more uh, residential. Uh, we may need to. Let's see how much of this is developed. Well, we've got more developing. We've got all of this to develop. So why don't we encourage that to grow? The easiest way to do that um, is to go sorry, to your tax and reduce your tax. Now, if you reduce it to 7%, you'll get a little bump. So we're going to do that for both residential and commercial because I want them to grow, see where we are. Why is sewage still complaining? Ooh. See, this is, you know, this is how much sewage these refineries produce. It is immense. So let's pop another couple in. See, I told you, huge, huge amounts of, uh, of rubbish produced from those. Now, these guys are going to be producing um, fuel, and it's just going to sit there. It's not going to go anywhere because we haven't put a trade port or anything in. So let's um, put this on pause for a second while we sort out our residential. Okay, so I just want to have another look at the, the detail screen. How are our shoppers? Yeah, kind of so-so. So we need, we still need some more commercial. We still need some more workers. Uh, we need to go and put in um, some medium wealth uh, in our medium wealth commuter town, which is next door. So we're going to have to do that soon. There's so many things to do. It's awesome. Um, so, so I see. I, there's so many things to do. I keep forgetting what I'm doing. Okay, good. We've got some more residential down here that's going to develop. So I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. The more residential there. Yeah, so it's just a case of waiting for that to develop into medium. Uh, now we've given it that little tax bump. I think we should be in good shape. We're still getting complaints. It, th actually, you know, I should... Uh, this should be like a 60-second tip. That if you want to see if you've got w a worker shortage go to the zone view or the zone tab at least um, and you'll get these flashing orange icons over any place that uh, that has a worker shortage and it's kind of worth knowing about so there you go little tip that's what it's all about little tips I said little tips man you pay Okay, trade port. This is gonna be. Uh, this is like I'm uh, like a kid in like playing with Lego. It, I love trade ports. Don't ask me why. Some sad fetish. Um, first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna upgrade the road around here. Let's get that up to medium density. There we go. Now, if we j just step back a second and, and think, like, okay, so what's going on in our little town? Okay, so we're pumping the oil. The oil's being shipped around here to the refineries. Then the fuel is going to be delivered around here to the trade ports. Great. So the workers are going to be coming around here to go to work here and then around here to go to work here and then around here to go to work at the trade ports. There's not going to be a huge amount of, uh, of worker traffic because we're not really employing that many people. I mean we've only got a couple of thousand workers. We'll probably end up with about, once it's all developed, we'll probably end up with maybe, I don't know, what? Five or six thousand workers, maybe something like that, but no more. So I don't think we've got to worry about traffic at this point. Okay. Um, right. Enough of that. It's time for the trade port. Woohoo! Okay. Now, the first one I put in, 
I think I'm going to put in right over, like stuff it right over in this corner. And I'm probably going to put another one right next to it because I want to get the railway depots in. So let's pop in here and freight rail terminal. Right, and we'll pop that in. Now, here's what you need to know about freight rail terminals. Freight rail terminals, uh, they don't work like ships. Ships just come at the frequency that they arrive. I mean, there's, there's nothing that you can do to kind of sp speed that up, right? But trains get an extra train car, an extra freight car, uh, for every lot that you add to the trade port, okay? I, 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 most of you are going, yes, guy, we know. We know, so, all right, but yeah, I know, but some people don't. So, you know, I want to, you know, let people know. Um, now, the lots, these these warehouses, I call them lots, but they're actually properly called warehouses. Now, this one's for freight, right? Well, we're not going to be doing any freight, so that can go bye-bye. Right, I'm going to put the, the dock in, because I want to show you. Right, that's where we'll put the dock. Now. Oops. You can put your lots, and where's the fuel? Here's the fuel. Now we can put our fuel storage lots either next to the main building, or next to the docks, or next to the freight, right? And they don't need, like, the, the docks and the freight, they don't need road connections or anything, they just, it like, just magically all works, okay? So we want to put um, as many in as possible because we want to ship as much fuel as possible by rail. So we want all six extra cars. So we're going to put in a couple over here. And we'll put, let's see, we can't get one there, but we can put another one there. And... That's one, two, three, four. Hmm. One there. And the last one. Ah, yeah, perfect. Because that's kind of nice and, you know, irregular. That looks like something that might exist in the real world. We like that. Okay, let's put in... Now, um, the delivery trucks, we're exporting, and we're exporting only... So what do we do? Yes, we get rid of the delivery trucks. We don't need any. So let's put one more in. And I'm going to, again, I'm going to put it in nice and tight. Oh, not enough Somalians. Guys, I've run out of money. Okay, so we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to let this thing run, and I'm gonna have to export a little bit of oil. Don't tell anyone, okay? Don't tell anyone that I ran out of oil uh, money, because they'll think I'm an idiot. Have you seen how the price has gone down? We were when we started exporting, it was like twelve thousand, and it's down to like eight six now. Ooh, not good. Okay, so let's let that run. We should make uh, some money pretty quick. We'll pass a bond measure. 50,000 should see us okay. Because we'll start shipping some oil out very quickly. So let's crank this up to Cheetah. And whoops. Whoa! Well, psychedelic. Um, and we'll start making some money with a bit of luck. You know what, guys? I'm just going to like let this speed up a little bit so that the residential develops and we get some money because otherwise it's kind of boring just sitting here. Okay? So don't go anywhere. Be about, I don't know, 8, 10 seconds and I'll be back.